Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming in for another video. We're going to do another jewelry jar unjarring, jewelry bag unboxing, unbagging, whatever your favorite term is. Regardless, it is a mystery bag that uh, we pick up at thrift stores. We don't know what's in them. Many times we find trash, many times we find treasure. Regardless, it's always fun to open it with you. So welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate when you patronize the channel. And if you would please give it a thumbs up as soon as you walk in the door, I think you'll be really pleased with the content here. We talk a lot about jewelry. We show jewelry. We hunt for jewelry and I think you will love it. So be sure and subscribe today and also hit the uh, bell. The subscription is always free. So let's get started. This was only $10. I cannot believe it. Just the other night, I opened a $79.99, I guess you could say $80 bag, and it was worth every penny. It really was. I found some great things. I found some Jeep Collins. I hope you guys looked up that name and um, surprised me. Actually, I didn't know that Enid Collins was a part of that company, that family company, and she's the one that made those beautiful handbags, uh, those vintage, well, they're vintage now. But everyone loved them in the 60s and 70s. And now people really covet them and pay high dollar for them. And that was part of the same company. So I found beautiful brass Jeep Collins earrings and some Basco Mexican Sterling, two bangles. It was great. It was a great bag. So I have lower expectations for this $10 bag, but we'll see what happens. Either way, it's just fun, and I thought I saw some rose quartz, but I don't know. It could be acrylic. I have to be really careful with these bags regardless. There's quite a few necklaces in here, and I just don't want to mess them up and accidentally cut them. So let's get started. This is a ball of something. All right. Let's see what's this. Oh, this is a ring. This is a ring. How cool is that? It has, uh, I think, some, I don't know if that's dyed shell. I think it's dyed shell. It almost looked like um, Dalmatian Jasper. Show you the rings of the day. I had a request long ago to start showing the jewelry that I'm wearing so that people aren't curious as I look through these these items. So I'm wearing a wraparound ring that I found in a jar. It has coral. It's sterling silver. This is 14 karat gold. I found it at an auction and it is white and yellow gold 14k this is 18 karat it is a swinger ring from the 70s and it has emeralds and diamonds and i absolutely love it this is a malachite and lapis that i also found in a jar and i absolutely love it i really like this because it's not chipped inlay it's actually cabochon very nice these are some emeralds that i found on ebay this is a beautiful ring i've had forever you may have seen it in one of my collections it's 18 karat gold it has beautiful sleeping beauty turquoise it has lapis and the center is jade all right so that's what i'm wearing today now let's get started we have a lot of beads here these are genuine pearls and very nice i can't quite tell if this is it looks like um it looks like silver tone very nice though i don't know what the other beads are they look kind of glass-like because they're kind of frosted and they're shaped interestingly kind of like little teardrops or something i love those pearls they look almost like bells they're gorgeous that's a pretty bracelet it says wisdom on the little charms and what is this this is interesting that leather needs to be replaced but it's kind of i think a um lariat or bolo style i don't know if it's out of place here or what it seems kind of out of place the way they put that but it's quite interesting look at that enamel work and the tassels are lovely and really are pretty something but that is really pretty i'll have to see how i can fix that or how it's supposed to look i guess it crosses through the back or something and then there's the little tassels. That's really pretty. Maybe I can wash that up a little bit and clean it up because it's very cute. I've never seen anything like that. Appears to be a rose quartz bracelet in here. Stretch bracelet. Yes, it is. That's pretty. 
All right, so here is an interesting stretch ring. It has beads. It has gold stone, and I'm not sure if that's, I think it's shell. It looks like shell dyed, but it kind of looked like Dalmatian Jasper or something. Uh, we have kind of a little hippie dangly thing. This looks really small. Well, it has an adjustment, I guess. And it's very stiff. I've never seen one like that. They kind of make a little jingly noise, but they don't really move. It might be too white, too tightly wound there or knit. This is a big giant peace sign. This will go in a crafter lot. It's just plastic and it says made in China on a cord there. This is pretty. I have found one of these before. These are very interesting and I believe I sold it. Well, I don't have it anymore, I don't think. It's very cool. It has some kind of copper wire inside. And I think the other one I had, someone told me it had like computer chips or something in it. That is really pretty. The um, clear acrylic is always a popular thing. All right, we have a giant key. Very cool. We can put that on a rope. This is metal. It has a heart here and the design at the top as well. That is really pretty. That is cool. That would look pretty to put the cord or wire wrapped on both sides and kind of wear it like that. I right, got some multicolored seed beads or as I used to call them love beads. <laughs> and they're on stretch so that's interesting. I'll probably put that in a bead lot. Those are pretty though. This is, uh, I think, some kind of shell. It's an anklet, so you can put that on. <laughs> I'm always amused at how people use the barrel clasp on bracelets, and you need help to put it on. But this is pretty. I love the yellow. It has little hearts as well. This is cool. This is a little ponytail holder. That is really cool. I can't wear a ponytail right now, but... I really like this. And there it goes. That is a nice look. Yeah. That is really pretty. It looks like it just needs a cleaning. Very nice. Here's a simple little very thin wire bangle. Almost wire-like. It's metal. And some imitation seed pearls here on some little holders for the glasses there. Those are nice. I don't wear them, but they are nice. And what is this? A little pink. Looks like lots of beads in this one. Again, a reminder, I only paid 10 for it, so not bad at all. These are pretty. I like the little moonbeam or moon cat eye, whatever it's called. Moon glow cat eye, I think. Those are very pretty. That's a nice look. If you layer that up with some other necklaces. I think it's a nice look. I like this already. I don't know what it is, but I love the color of it. It's like the color of ivory. It is actually signed or something. It looks like it says 49 or 59. If you can see that, it's a barrel clasp. It does look like um, vintage because of that barrel clasp, but I can't say for sure. And it's definitely an acrylic. I was thinking maybe it's a bone or an ivory, but bone is usually a lot more porous looking. It's very lightweight. Let me take a close look at it. No, I don't see any Schrager lines or anything. So I'm sure it's just a uh, imitation, but it's a beautiful color. I like that flat bead too. Oh, this is cute. That is super cute. I love the painted metal design that is so cute that's a fancy cowboy boot with some spurs and someone made a really cute brooch that's going to have to go into my western motif jacket my little texas theme jacket so cute little puffy heart nice condition as well some charms here and another heart that is really cute that's a nice little brace and now we have something chunky and funky and what is this Oh my gosh, these are really cute beads. Look at that. It's even got a little Asian coin in there. They just threw everything in this. 
I like the beads. All of them are so cute. There's some pin set beads. They have some seed beads, actually wire wrapped as well. I think it just got stretched out, but that is so cute. That actually looks a little bit designer, kind of Betsy Johnson or something. It's super cute. It just needs to be restrung. These look like pieces of watermelon or something. I don't know. They're darling. <laughs> really cool. I like these beads. They are interesting. These are so not, they're different too. They're all acrylic. I don't know, tell me about them if you know anything. Leave your comments, because I love to know what you know, can't tell. It looks like it may have fallen off of a maybe a charm necklace or something. It's just a heart with some bows on it. And then we've got some packaged beads. Well, I'll just leave these in their packs and put them in a bead lot. Got green and purple and gray and more purple, turquoise blue there. Very cool. This is interesting. Little panel bracelet. This is very interesting. It looks like a vintage piece. And it has hearts and it says my diary. How cute is that? And it opens up kind of. <laughs> it says what does it say? I love you or love. Can't quite tell, but that articulates. Yes. Oh, that's darling. Looks like we lost some charms. I don't know if this was holding something in there. It might have been a part of another charm. And then here's some scissors. They articulate too. How cute is that? I love the panel bracelet itself. It doesn't look like it's sterling. It looks like silver tone. It has a vintage box clasp as well. That is so cute. Bracelets. I wonder what other charm was there and there. Looks like there was a two missing. Very cool though. That little heart panel link is beautiful. Nice, I like that. That'll go into my copious collection of vintage charm bracelets. More beads in a bag. Cute. It is stretched out, but that is a nice design. Coral colors, black and blue. Kind of a turquoise blue. It actually looks like goldstone somewhat. That's pretty. Oh, what's this? I thought it was the key ring from Whiting and Davis. I don't know why I'm looking for I had like three of them and I gave them away or sold them. But remember the Whiting and Davis key rings, the hearts? They were so cute. Some were hearts and some were rings. I thought that's what that was. But this is just a little stretchy bracelet in gold tone. It's actually cute. I like it. Really nice array here of glass beads in the center. It has no clasp at all. But those are beautiful beads in the front there. So that'll go into bead lot as well. Yes, that's cute. I don't know if that's a cross or a cactus. But it's gold on the inside. Oh gosh, that's a nice brooch. Look at that. Well, it's big. It has, oh, that is really pretty. Tell me there are no rhinestones missing and I'll really be happy. Look at that. That is pretty. These are kind of really white. The others are a little bit more champagne color. Looks like a uh, contemporary piece. It doesn't really look vintage to me from the look of the rhinestones. Um, they are pronged. They are pronged setting there. That's really pretty though. That's a nice little sparkle on those. And it's kind of a floral motif. Then it kind of looks like a little starburst or a snowflake. That is nice. Missing. Here's some purple pearls, obviously faux. And very nice toggle on that. Stack these up and they look really nice with your wraparound bracelets as well. Here's another one. 
This one has a cross and it has some little, I guess, evil eye warding off beads as well there. That's interesting. Oh my goodness, Hello Kitty is in the house. This is cute. Okay, this was worth the 10 bucks right there. I love having a retractable lanyard thingy. <gasps> These are not cheap. They really aren't. And I love them because I usually, I don't lock my door this year because we really don't need to, but usually I do lock my classroom door. We're actually supposed to. And so when you keep your keys in and you don't have to take them off or bend over to open the door, you know, bend your neck down or anything. So that's awesome. I love that. Here's some moon glow cat eye in the blue faux pearls. They do have their clasp. The other one stuff did not have. They do have their clasp. That's nice. Good condition as well. Your darling shoes look at that on a little bead ball chain that is super pretty <laughs> i like them they are tied together they look like ballet slippers kind of but then they really are embellished those are pretty very nice though very nice condition gold tone so that's pretty. Cha-cha going on. And a cherry. Orange cherries. I've never seen orange and coral cherries. Again, this is kind of, a, this one's actually signed. Kind of a Betsy looking thing. This is AC. I don't know who that is. It has a lowercase a and a lowercase c on that signature there yeah the pink ones the little round ones are glass some of them are acrylic most are acrylic actually and these are metal so i think it's gotten a little outstretched but look how fun that is cute that is so cute i really like that very very betsy johnson looking that is so cute what is this a key ring from lucky penny san francisco nice nice to have a lucky penny that's pretty i wonder what year that penny is 2012 on the penny that's cool i like that I have a grow grain ribbon attached to a strand of pearls that are really pretty the ribbon is not in bad condition it's just wrinkled and the pearls are a very pretty color very pale pale pink you can barely see a hint of pink in that but that's pretty that is really nice oh pretty this is a piece of amethyst on a rosary linked necklace i like it gold tone i love it i love that it's short choker size that's beautiful it does have that gilding that they do around it to keep it from chipping and whatnot so that's beautiful i love that that is really pretty these are black i don't know if they're black onyx or just acrylic but i like that look a lot i paid for the bag right there that and the hello kitty huh again it was only ten dollars can't really beat that more of these beads i think some of these had their own bag at one time orange and black so I'll just put those in my bead lot with the other ones that had a bag. These are kind of a little Mardi Gras style. They're they unusual that they're stationed with larger beads and they're color and they are the color of ivory. They're very lightweight. Yeah, this is pretty. It's a little coil bracelet we have something attached here that is tangled this one has a little cross it appears to all be silver tone nice beads on here though and they are glass and other types i guess i like the different shapes of the beads too 
They even have some that look like um, sea glass. That's pretty. That is a very nice bracelet. Bracelets here. Here's another one. This one has some dyed halite. Very pretty teal colors, though, on those glass beads and rondelles there as well. So that's very nice. I like that. This is enameled, a little butterfly with pink and greens. And I don't believe this is silver at all. It is signed, though. Let me see what it says. NRT. NRT is what it says. I don't, I've never heard of that. Look how pretty that is. And I like the colors. Pinks, greens, and blue. That's a nice one. And it's not really big. It's just a really pretty piece. Okay, this appears to be 925 with all these charms. It actually says gold filled. So it says, yeah, it says one, four, you know, 14 karat gold filled is what is on the clasp. There's a little knot on it. This, I just kind of draped together there but they're pretty they're little chips there's some rondelles there's a little i guess like a little flower or a star and pink rondelles that's cute and look they even have little pink beads at the very top that is really cute all right we've got more kid jewelry here we've got a little evil eye thingy glass bead on that Interesting. We have a smiley face. No, or no, a Scrabble tile. Superman. It's interesting. That's that looks like the Star of David, though. I don't know if that's a play on that or I don't know. Maybe that's the way Superman's logo is. I don't really know. Interesting. It's Betty Boop, but she's magnetic. She's a little brooch. And her back is a little heart with magnet on it, too. That is interesting. I think she was battery operated, actually. Because it looks like her eyes probably lit up. You see how they look like they have something inside? Some coil necklaces here. This one has an acrylic blue stone. This one has a tile with a snowman. It's cute. Some crystals, beautiful crystals. Cones and beautiful colors. Oh my gosh, these are so darling. This needs a clasp, or maybe this was the dangle. It will still close right here. I think there may need to be a finished bead finishing bead there but that is so pretty. it almost looks like it says sterling on that clasp indeed it does have a sterling finding and these are really pretty crystal beads all shape we got something from the gum machine maybe but it's got a little dragonfly in there Maybe that's the way they store jewelry. You know, that's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. She's a little fairy. Look how precious she is. She's cute. I don't see any marking on her. She sure is cute, though. Quite detailed. This was in the other bracelet thing as well when the other bracelets came out a little pendant that's a pretty one nice colors on that lots of sparkle pinks and purples and blues okay let's pour out the rest of it quite a bit left actually this bag keeps on giving for ten dollars i'm telling you not bad. We have a puffy heart on a stretch pearl Probably go in the kitty lot as well. 
Here's the rose quartz, or I thought it was, and I still think it is. Some of these are definitely rose quartz. It looks like some pink shell, white shell, beautiful. This looks like um, obsidian, actually. Maybe it's some kind of dyed. It's very heavy and cold. This is pretty. I like this. Really nice. I like it. This is what I saw in the bag. Again, it was only $10, so I was going to buy it regardless. But, yeah, this is some kind of pink shell, and there is some, some rose quartz in there as well, some little chips of rose quartz and whatever else that may be. And, again, this has the characteristics of obsidian here's something funny looking what in the world that is so cool oh my gosh i don't know if that that looks like a mushroom looks like an alien it looks like it it needs a bale or it fell off of its bale but it is so cute an alien mushroom i don't know you tell me That is so cool, and it articulates, isn't it, darling? Can you see that? <gasps> I can't even describe it, but none of the stones are missing. That's a good thing. None of the stones are missing. That's always good. I like that. What is this? Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is going to look pretty on one of my plants. Full of glitter. Or it could look cute on a, I don't know, a coat. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I just found this huge brooch this size. But it has rhinestones. That is so darling. Oh my goodness. That is really cool. Yeah. Oh my. Some things just make you laugh. Look at him. He's cute, too. He's a brooch, too. Little reindeer. And he's got a little jingle bell. Another brooch. Nice. I love when I get brooches. Is that a horse? <gasps> a zebra. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I've ever gotten a zebra. I don't know if he's lost a little enamel, but regardless, you can tell he's a zebra. About an inch. Inch and a half across the body there. He is so cute. Lock it. What is that? I don't know who that is. It's probably some kind of Japanese character or something. It looks like those egg characters. I don't know. He looks like an egg, right? I'll have to ask my daughter. She likes those things. It's interesting. Isn't it? I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> or maybe it broke. Maybe it was part of a figure or something. Some Casa Grande artisanal artisanal esencia artisanal well this is spanish let's say it in spanish Thelma. esencia artes artesana <laughs> esencia esencia artesanal artesia artesanal there you go artesanal <laughs> These are made of some kind of uh, weaving there. Looks like leaves or something. It's really pretty. Yeah, it looks like leaves or something. Cool. It's like an Alex and Annie style. It's uh, Is that Disney? That might be a Disney. Looks like Minnie Mouse. And she says, some days call for extra sparkle i agree <laughs> that's cute that is super cute it is signed it's probably signed disney it says l-a-c-n and disney on the other that's cute that is really really cute i like it a lot and it's in fabulous condition these wrap bracelets these are nice you just wrap them and wrap them and wrap them and wrap them and then you button them up Here's a pretty angel. I don't think she's sterling. She is a, has a bale glued onto her. So that's interesting. More of these bangles. So I guess it was a little set. 
of these and they look pretty together actually they're gold they're not as light as those ones the ones that um, bend up very easily so that's a nice little set there and a hairband got some hair accessories in this thing interesting this is leather this is real leather it just needs to be ironed out cleaned up yeah a little heat gun will straighten that up that's cute it has a black flower as well this one looks brand new that's cute and then one with some glitter wow this was a lot for ten dollars it really was a nice bag so far i'm like super impressed this is cute too very nice what's in this bag some bugle beads the spider oh we got a story here we've got literature let's see what it says okay we have some spiders wow earrings i think or maybe not maybe they oh cool these are so cool oh my gosh they are bendable there they are there there's one they are on some kind of hook there and there's the other one i guess you could wrap them around your finger and wear them as rings or maybe they were going to do something with them like an ornament let's read and see what it says oh, funny legend of the spider okay a long time ago in scotland while a mother was busily cleaning the house her house in preparation for Christmas. The spiders that usually stayed in the living room corner fled upstairs to the attic to escape her broom. From the attic, they could hear all the commotion. Okay, so we got a little literature, a little Christmas story. Christ child to visit throughout the year. So leaving a spider ornament. Okay, so they are indeed ornaments. That is too cool. I love it. I'm going to read the rest of the story. I guess you could look it up. Legend of the Spider and Christmas. I don't want to bore you with it. But I am super happy to have those spiders. That is just cool. And you can always wear them as a ring, honestly. <laughs> Why not? All you have to do is twist it a couple of times. And there you have spider jewelry. Very cool. It looks like a very cool story. I, I'm not familiar with it. If you are, let me know. Give us some info in the comments oh wow this is a big chunky oh, is it lucky no it's chico's that was my second guess <laughs> that was gonna be my second guess chico gosh i love that look at that it just threw everything on there i think that might even be carnelian or some kind of glass bead i like the faux tortoise shell the smoky quartz shell oh my goodness look these are glass. This is dyed halite. Faux tortoise shell. Cool. This is a cool piece. It really is. Nice and heavy. Wow. And that's the uh, the tag there. Chico's. They make really nice jewelry and super, super expensive. You would be surprised he says, ever. This is plastic. Stretch. Purple. Here we have a drawstring. It has a homsa hand with some rhinestones. That's pretty. This thing. And we have a hashtag button. This is a stretch. Oh, this probably is for your hair. It feels like it's for your hair instead of a bracelet. That's a little small. We did get the match on these earrings. Those were cute, actually. I think they are cactuses. Wait. here's it oh it's running and it's armatron and it is late it's 2 29 in the afternoon I'm so cute in purple i love that that is a pretty color here's a stretch very nice glass rondelles black crystal very nice that's a pretty bracelet this is going to go into my kid lot as well Guys, if you're interested, I do have a Facebook auction. Some people were asking about it, and I didn't see it till later in my live video the other night. 
all the information is in my description box. It is a members only. Of course, it's free, but I just want to eliminate trolls and spamming and all of that. So we do ask that you um, agree to the terms of the group over on Facebook. And we do have options every Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Time. So you are more than welcome to um, join us. I'd really love it if you did. These are pearls. They are knotted. They've got some nice findings. They are by Mikasa. Melissa. I don't know. I can't see what it says. Let me check. It says Mikasa with a K. Never heard of that. But that's a nice strand of pearls. Faux pearls, but obviously glass and nicely made. Here we have a key with some purple stones on that. What does this say? I don't know. Curl? Curry? I have no idea, but it's a brooch. And it's a pendant as well. Or, yeah, it looks like it says C U R I, curry. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a school or something. Oh, these are pretty. Look at this. This is a nice set a pendant and the matching earrings and they are beautiful they're teal colored gold tone this is Avon and it's signed SH so these are very pretty and those are glass stones they're beautiful teal that's nice let me know if you know who SH or HS is because I don't we have some more rose colored beads here definitely rose quartz they are on silver tone they're pretty sort of a little wide drop there and they're I don't know if this is rose quartz but I know the beads are this looks more like glass but the other beads are rose quartz that's a pretty piece hello kitty on a charm bracelet there I mean a little charm on a stretch Another stretch with a with a hamsa, a white bangle, acrylic, another hippie, kind of a drawstring, leather, some beads. These are kind of gold color. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Little anime character, I believe, on a pop top. Interesting. Some carnelian color. Beads there. These are nice. These are glass as well. Then a velvet choker. Or just the band anyway. Cute. This is for a child as well and it is plastic. <laughs> that is so cute. This is uh, just some bugle beads and some seed beads, kind of a blue silver color. Black, green, blue, white. It uh, doesn't have a clasp. No, it doesn't. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not sure. Oh, it's got like a barrel clasp embedded inside of that bead. That's interesting. I put this in the child's lot. What does it say? Nothing. It's just an empty tag, but it doesn't say anything, but they're so cute. This is for a child as well. It's very, very tiny. Green, yellow, red, ladybugs. <gasps> Those are cute. Really pretty. Yet more navy beads. Wow, lots of beads today. This is nice. This one has a little toggle. And they're white and silver. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, if you will, before you leave. I do appreciate it. It helps grow the channel. 
And if you'd like, I would appreciate it if you subscribe today if you haven't done so already. Subscription button is on the right. Subscription is always free. And hit the bell while you're at it and you'll be notified whenever I do a new video. This is a cut shell. Lots of pink in here. Really thick piece of shell there and it is nicely done in pink and then some pearls, real pearls. That's a nice one. That looks really pretty. I've never seen a shell this thick. Wow. I mean, carved, right? I've never seen them carved that way. Here's a stretch. This one has, I think, some kind of a religious metal. Let me see if I can take a look at the back. Looks like a religious metal. And it says something in the back, probably the Blessed Mother holding a child, actually. Probably the Christ. It's very interesting. That's it there. And the back is quite faded, but it does say something in the back. So let me know if you know anything about it. There it is there. Oh, this is pretty. This is really nice. Again, I think someone, this is on Sterling Findings as well as was the other one. Oh, I love it in the black. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. AB coatings on those. How gorgeous is that? Here's the other one. Obviously made by the same person. I don't know if they took apart vintage jewelry or restrung it or something, but um, they're made pretty much the same way. That's even pretty together. That is nice. Here is a nice gold leaf and bead. It says BP. I don't know what BP is. There we go. It's got little leaves dangling there. And then we've got some more kid jewelry. We've got a best friends. A little owl, this one's pretty articulated one as well and he's kind of on the small side for from what I've seen of owls lately they've been really huge little owl pendant that's a pretty one it's a stone I don't know what kind but it is a brownish maybe it's some kind of a jasper on a curb chain there silver tone on the chain we have a dyed halite stretch, beautiful blue. Have another kid's little pendant, little crown. And another best friend bracelet this time. We have another religious medal on beads. Pray for us, it says. Saint, I can't tell what saint this is. Saint Francis de Sales stretch in blue and black and I think we just have some remnants here some pink bead let me see if I got this chain okay I didn't see this chain in here let me see what's in here and then we have that earring that's by itself this looks like pyrite on it it's on an interesting barrel clasp with some hair <laughs> that always happens if you can't handle the hair don't get a jewelry jar don't do it but they will be there okay i don't see any more maybe sterling it's quite interesting the teeniest tiniest little 
Indeed, look at that. It's really tiny. It's heavy though. Else, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you watching the video so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up on the way out, if you will. I will see you very soon. I hope you enjoyed this pre-recorded video. Of course, I'll bring you live videos very soon. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.